morning, you guys. Welcome to a Monday morning in my first official vlog that is now going to be on this channel. So I've decided to combine my channels. If you want the full explanation, you can go watch that last video on my vlog channel. But from here on out, nothing main channel content wise is going to change. I'm still gonna be posting the same videos, the same concepts that I've been doing and have talked about, um, but also just with my vlogs also on this channel because it just makes the most sense for me. I think it's at the perfect time in my life to do that. So yeah, thanks in advance for your understanding. Of course, just watch the ones you wanna see. This video is going to be a few days in my life. Kicking it off on this Monday morning, I put on my whole work outfit and <laughs> like rolled fresh out of bed to go on the treadmill, but I just feel like I have no clear direction of where my day needs to go today or even this week as a whole. So I put on my robe instead to kind of like get a grip on my day, evaluate. I've been fine for a couple of days, but last week, several days of the week, I was extremely under the weather. I thought I had COVID. Anyways, today's coffee that I just picked up because I typically get the Califia, um, just black unsweetened coffee, but they didn't have that. So I got this um, Stumptown cold brew concentrate, which is very good. Giselle back in the day, a fun fact. She used to work at Alfred, I think she's managed now for it actually. So she knows everything about like every coffee ever. We have officially begun packing. It is official that Giselle and I are gonna be moving here in a few weeks. So typically I would wait to start packing. I'm just in this very confusing place of like, do I start packing? How much do I start packing? Like, cause obviously like now I'm left with these boxes just in the middle of the kitchen and it's only two boxes. Like that's hardly anything. We just packed up some stuff like from the kitchen that we know we're not really gonna use or we can get by without over the next few weeks. And why we're starting to pack now is that we basically have this week here that's like our last full week up until the move which is crazy and then we're going to visit my family in South Carolina in Myrtle Beach for like over a week then we come back here for a couple of days then we go to visit Giselle's family for a couple of days for her brother's uh, baby shower which is very exciting and then we come back for like one or two days and then we move so literally this week is like the most packing time we have how natural and cute that was. All right, we're redoing a scene that didn't record. Hello. <laughs> so I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, Giselle, I set this up. I was already talking through my to-do list and Giselle like comes downstairs. I haven't seen her yet this morning. And it was this cute little scene. It was all funny. And I was thinking to myself like, wow, this is such a good personality segment. And then I noticed it's not recording. So then we just tried to reenact it, but Giselle's not an actress, so. Well, anyways, I just came up with my to-do list for today, generally. Today's full block for Monday is um, of things I realized are urgent for today, so I'm glad that I just came down and started my day now. Gonna have to squeeze in my workout later. I've just been viewing, like, my workouts these days as, like, a non-negotiable part of my day. I don't know what about that simple concept just, like, changed my mentality about it, where it's just not about motivation anymore, because, like, like you're gonna feel motivated sometimes, sometimes you're not. I just thought I'd share that in case for some reason that, you know, turns on a light bulb for anyone else. But so today things I need to do, I need to submit my Fabletics Instagram stories for the month of May. I need to submit some stuff that Giselle and I filmed over the weekend and just a bunch of other random old stuff. So that's gonna be my morning. What are you waiting to say? I was gonna crossover. Crossover. I need a form. All right, we made it to the end of the work day. Giselle and I then went on a long walk. It's been a day. I'm exhausted and sweaty now. <laughs> and I had a little cry earlier because I was just having a moment of being sad, thinking about leaving this house and just all of the memories we have. I mean, this is our first place together. Giselle just walked down the stairs. Anyways, feeling a little bit better now. I feel like anytime I move, like every single time, I've always been sentimental about you know, the space and all the good times in the space, but obviously you always move on to a new space and create great memories there too. Now we are having a fun little at-home date night activity that I surprised Giselle with, which is so random, but I'm gonna show it in case anyone cares. You can put your beer on the screen, I told you. Giselle, respecting the 
community guidelines. I'm so used to having to hide every logo. That's for sponsorships. All right, so what we are doing and what this little setup here is, do you want to explain? All right, well, when I met Giselle, instead of like TV shows, she used to watch YouTube like cooking videos, or not even cooking videos, like these YouTube videos of all these random people trying different foods, like driving around to every fast food restaurant, trying the best chicken sandwich or whatever. She doesn't watch those anymore because now I introduced her to reality TV. But over the weekend, <laughs> upgraded, we got hooked on watching, oh, what was their name? The these Kardashians? Two oh. No. <laughs> These Ariana brothers TV. on YouTube, oh, the Takedown Twins. So they do a lot of videos like trying different foods. We saw that they did a video trying all the different flavors of these Blue Diamond Almonds, which we looked up because I'm doing a brand deal with them on Instagram. I knew they were good. I did not know they had so many flavors. Yesterday, I went out and bought all the flavors I could find in addition to the ones I already had. And now I surprised Giselle with her own little tasting Yay. to be like all the YouTubers that you watch. <laughs> I'm excited to try this one. Not my favorite. All right, these were our top three coming in. First place, spicy dill pickle, habanero barbecue, and ghost pepper. Randomly a very fun activity. a.m. and I've already worked out for the day. Morning from Tuesday, just got back from a boxing class that I went to with Giselle. You guys know I love Rumble, love my Rumble classes. Fun fact, Rumble's not very close to me. So this morning I thought I would go with Giselle to where she normally goes, which I'm not gonna say where, because I'm about to complain about it, you know. <laughs> it's not actually ramp, not like worked up about this, just something I'm thinking about. <laughs> so I recently actually downloaded ClassPass, which I've seen people talk about for years and years, never considered it or looked into it for myself until, you know, I was wanting to save a little money this month and I was like I'm gonna do a two-week class pass trial to get a couple free classes. Rumble is a lot of credits on like per class compared to where Giselle goes it's a lot less so I've started to go with her also on days where like I'm not gonna have the time later in the afternoon to drive to Rumble take the class and drive all the way home like I can just go with Giselle and it's just like much quicker. I've just been doing that a little bit lately including this morning to get it out of the way. Also there's no way I'm motivating myself to a 6 30 a.m workout class without her. But something I just found odd. So when you book with ClassPass, like I think anywhere, you just book the class, they confirm it, and then like the studio assigns your spot. So you just show up and they tell you your spot versus like booking it directly through the studio. You get to like pick where you are most places. So at Rumble, they assign it, I get there, I talk to them, like not just me, cause I know I go a lot, but like my friend came who never comes the other day. She asked to move to like be near me and they were like, yeah, totally. Like, it's just like, they're so friendly, easy, whatever. This place for the second time, me and Giselle get there. It's a 6.30 class. So, you know, the masses aren't out for this. Like there's nobody there. They tell us where our spots are and usually we're like pretty close together or actually sometimes we been beside each other. So it's just worked out, but we were like on on dead opposite sides of the room, which is at the end of the world, no. But I also don't think it's that big a deal to just like ask like, hey, can we like be beside each other? Cause there's like no one here in classes starting. And there's a lot of spots in the room. And the girl was like super short and like kind of rude about it. It just rubbed me the wrong way. And she was like, we don't allow class pass, uh, whatever members or people who book through class pass to move. And I was just like, Okay, but I'm just reflecting on like, what is it to the studio? What does it cost them to just keep the customer happy and like let you move somewhere when there are infinite spots available, but you'd rather like make a point about like, how they don't value their class pass customers as much or something. I just found it weird. It's like they use that as like leverage or a selling point to like get you to pay for the classes, but it did the opposite and it just turned me away completely. That's my rant on this Tuesday morning. I will have my referral link below cause then I'll get something and you guys will get something. But all right, I'm gonna go upstairs and shower, get clean. I'm on like day four. Day four, hair. I have some fun plans coming up tonight. I'm gonna get dinner with Adrian. If you guys have watched for a while, my older mate, Adrian. I haven't seen her in a couple months, I think. Actually, I don't even, maybe it was since my birthday. Maybe like five months. <laughs> Now getting 
ready. Lately, my go-to hairstyle has just been letting my hair air dry, like leaving it in a towel for a little bit and then just kind of doing this little scrunch number. <laughs> Which brings me back to like, was it middle school or high school when people would like get product and like scrunch their hair and it looked so just like crisp. And then I'll curl a couple pieces. I definitely did over dry it. I need to get like some sea salt spray, but my foundation is so beyond empty right now. It's not even funny. I've been using my like toothpaste tube twister thing to get the last drop of product out. But at the moment I'm getting ready to film a little TikTok with Giselle. We're very, we're very proud of her. She doesn't dislike being on camera. It's not like I'm like having to coerce her, but she's just not the most comfortable. People who aren't used to being on camera all the time, it's just like not really a natural thing. It's been a good day so far. I have gotten a lot of work done. It's only like 11 a.m. right now. It is later in the day. I do still have something I need to do with Giselle when she gets home, which is filming a little Princess Polly TikTok. It's just showing like different summer outfits and these we're gonna be packing for Croatia, which is coming up in only a few weeks. Literally coming up, like we leave for that one second after we're gonna move. So all of my like brand campaigns coming up over the next couple of months, I've been having to film now. Um, so it's just been busy. There's just been a lot of stuff happening off screen. I'm now, while I wait for Giselle to get home, gonna do a little bit of packing and then film the TikTok and then that's the night. Tomorrow is our two year official anniversary, which is gonna be fun. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take tomorrow to just like, I mean, we're working, but should mainly just be with Giselle and that'll probably wrap up the vlog. Let's get to some packing. Giselle brought me a green juice, which is very thoughtful. I'm talking to the people. Just a super speedy haul from Princess Polly. So I took everything out. I've tried a few things on, not everything. So I'm not really gonna talk about this in detail at all, but just a couple things that I love. First, Giselle picked out this dress, but now I'm literally gonna use my own discount code and go back and buy this in black because it is so flattering on. Like there's like, not, well, yeah, it's like the ruched details going down the back. So like the booty looks great. Like the front is flattering. I just think this is so cute. This is one of my favorite items. I don't think this one's going to make it into the TikTok, but I picked out some extra stuff too. So this little long sleeve top, I think that is so cute. This dress I'm excited about. We got it in a couple colors. It's just like a little... Um, really comfy mini dress on my own. Recently, I purchased this like same style, but in their maxi dress or midi dress. On me, it's like a maxi dress, but I already have it in a couple colors. And then they make like a maxi skirt version of it too. So it's just like the same pattern. You know what I mean? A couple of like little tank tops. I'm gonna have my discount code on screen. They don't even know I'm talking about this in here. I just thought I would show it since I was vlogging today, but this is like a cute little vacation top. I think my code is MORGAN20 for 20% 20 off for the next week or two if any of you guys are interested. Right here is tonight's fit. Heading out for dinner with Adrian. This is Princess Polly little trench coat jacket I've been wearing all the time. Um, just a little basic white tee, my favorite dark jeans. It's clearly a mess around here. Me and Caitlin just spent the last several hours on FaceTime putting together a little, I'm trying not to trip, <laughs> putting together a little pitch deck for something fun that will hopefully happen. Now I'm trying to get a little caffeine since I've been up since so early this morning. I love these kind drinks, they're like lightly caffeinated. Don't really like the other flavors of them. I'm gonna drive me Adrian, we're gonna have a fun dinner at the Santa Monica proper hotel rooftop. Adrienne, what'd you get? Chicken something. Chicken stew. Half chicken. Yeah, half chicken. Yum. I miss being your roomie. I miss being your roomie so bad. It was very nice. It was very fun. I love Adrienne. She 
it was like two year official anniversary today of when I asked her to be my girlfriend. And these are so pretty. I'm just so surprised. It's so many flowers at the moment. Giselle's favorite flowers are peonies and I have not seen them at Trader Joe's. Like they used to have them years ago. That's where I'd always get them. And I have not seen them in like over a year. So I actually just ordered them from Urban Stems. Prosciutto? Prosciutto? <laughs> Prosciutto? 